click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey you guys, Russ here coming out with another fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to convert the following to skeletal formulas, line angle formulas. Alright, so these are a little unique because they have double bonds. But don't let that phrase you. Don't let that scare you. Don't let that intimidate you. It's easy. Trust me. Watch how this is done. Alright, so remember, if you've watched my subsequent video that I'll link to somewhere over here, um, I showed you how to do line angle formulas on simple alkane-like structure, simple carbon-carbon single bonds with nothing else going on. These are a little more complicated in that they have double bonds, and this bad boy over here has non-hydrogen non and non-hydrogen carbon atoms, so we have to deal with that as well. Don't worry, I'll show you how. All right, let's do this one. One, two, three, four, five. So let's count. Let's number the atoms. Two, three, four, five. So I have this number of the atoms to keep track of everything. So let's just draw. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So I know that between carbon one and two, there's a double bond. So put it there. And there you go. That's the correct answer. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do the expanded formula to prove it to you. Remember, where lines terminate, or two or more lines come together, that's where the carbons are. So there's a carbon here, line terminates. There's a carbon here, two lines come together, line terminates. Or sorry, two or more lines come together, two or more lines come together, line terminates. Remember, every carbon has to have four of those bad boy bonds. So this carbon already has two, needs to have two more. This carbon already has one, two, three, needs to have one more. This carbon already has two, got to have two more. This carbon already has two, got to have two more. And this carbon already has one, got to have three more. So now I've taken my skeletal formula and put it back to expand it. Let me draw the correct answer up here because this is no longer skeletal anymore. So this and this, same. They're talking about the same molecule. Basically, uh, one pentine, pent pentene, excuse me. Let's do the next one. One, two, three, four, five. So let's, let's number the carbons. One, two, three, four, five. So just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Good enough. So that's number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? Now, let's be, clear. let's be very careful here. Between carbon one and carbon two, there's a double bond. So put it there. Now, you're not done. Because we have non-hydrogen atoms bonded to our carbons. We have a chlorine on carbon five and a bromine on carbon one. We must deal with that. If we left it just like this, we'd have that molecule right there. So this, as it's drawn right now, as it's drawn right now, this is this. And we don't want that because we have bromine and chlorine on our molecule. The user will not assume bromine or chlorine. They'll only ever assume hydrogen and carbon. So we have to draw it in. So how do you do that? You just literally draw it in. So carbon one, there's a bromine. And there it is. Carbon one has a bromine on it. Carbon five, there's a chlorine. So draw it in. So here's carbon number five. It has two hydrogens and a chlorine. Carbon number four has two hydrogens. Three has two hydrogens. Two has one hydrogen. One has one hydrogen. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll convert it back to expand it just so to show you that I'm right. I, I know you want me to prove it, so I will. All right, so there's a carbon here. Two or more lines come together. Two or more lines come together. Two or more lines coming together. Two or more lines coming together. Two or more lines coming together. Those are all carbons. Carbon has to have four bonds. One, two. So this carbon number five has two carbon, or sorry, two bonds so far has to have four so the other two are considered to be hydrogen unless otherwise told here we were told this was a chlorine so we drew it in this carbon one two two bonds must have five, uh, four so must have two more bonds to hydrogen same with carbon number three 
And carbon number two, we've got to be careful with though, right? One, two, three. It already has three bonds, so it has to have simply one more. This carbon right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. It needs to have one more. And there you go. There you have it. That would be the correct expanded formula for this. But now, we didn't, it wasn't asking for the expanded. It want the skeletal. So let me do the skeletal. And if you want, you can put the lone pairs in. Why not? There you go. So now this and this are telling me the same thing. Now, I think everyone watching this video will agree that this is much easier on the eyes than that. This is very busy. Let's say it that way. This is much more clean and concise, which is why organic faculty like to use skeletal formulas. It makes everyone's life easier. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and slap that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know the kind of questions that you're working on in your chemistry class. Maybe I can do a video for you. And you know what? If you really want, please go ahead and share this content with your friends. Let them know that I'm out there. Let me know that I exist and let them know that I can be helpful to them as well. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Subscriptions really do help YouTube creators, and I'm no exception. Let's YouTube know our videos are good. Students are engaging with them and that maybe other students can be helped and they'll recommend it more and more and more. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.